some of this fake coins to point out Hey guys, Kenny and Rick with Ugly Tent. We're going to do a shelter build on today's episode. We're going to start a shelter build. We probably won't finish it. We're going to start it. So let me show you what we've got here. <clears throat> if you remember on the last episode of Not So Serious Survival, episode one, I uh, walked past this pine thicket that all of them had fallen down. And I wanted to do something with this. There's just a lot of material here. So Rick and I were discussing it, and we came up with the idea to do a northern tilt. I think that's what it's called. Mm -hmm. And it's from D.C. Beard's book, Shelter, Shacks, and Shanties. So our idea is to do... Let me show you. There it is. Make sure that's what it's called. Northland tilt. It's called the Northland tilt. So we're going to do something very similar to this. If you've never seen this book, check it out. It's a good one. So stick with us while we have some fun, eat and drink some food and, and beverage, and probably going to review some gear. As always, it's going to be a good time, so stick around. So in case you're wondering, I didn't have that book in my jacket the whole time. I left it in my pack. I was like, oh, I got to get that. So a little movie magic there. You've seen this before. We'll do, we'll do as much as we can with the hand tools. And I brought a chainsaw just in case we get into um, some areas that need it, some bigger timbers. But we're going to do as much as we can bushcraft style. Remember, this is not so serious survival. So if it's not perfect, we don't care. We're just out here having fun, practicing, learning. There's a little... On our wise cracking one-liners. Yeah. Working on... I don't know if you heard that or not. Working on our... Where are you at, Rick? Say it again. I said I'm out here always working on my wise cracking one-liners. tough trying to find a, a flat spot that's the worst part is we got this material but we gotta find a flat spot in case you're all wondering this is the Sookie Gone Boy the Outback Edition if you don't have one of these you're a complete bonehead these things are amazing very unlimiting not like a bow saw these things can cut through just about anything and do it super super fast very aggressive teeth I don't have one I must be a bonehead Got a lot of bind in it. Yeah. I'll tell you what. Okay. Three. I'm trying to keep them all about. Well, I want to see with a pitch. Cut that long. Cut it long, okay. And then we'll see once we stand them up. Because one's going to be shorter than the other. Oh, yeah, it has to be, right? Yeah, for the Northland. You want it like right here? Yeah, I think so. Is that good? Sure. And that still gives us plenty off that one. Very nice. Good old cool. pond, not very heavy. No, sir. Yep. Let me dig this area out right here and use these two trees. Oh. That just occurred to me. I didn't, I didn't see those two of them. Yeah. I didn't see it either. So just now. So I just looked myself up there. Hey, there's not only two standing oh, dead for the two hanging with them. So we have spent most of the day scouting. So we're trying to level out a little bit. We got some shovels back here. I think that's the best spot we could come up with. We got the the west setting sun at our doorway in the evening. And then in the morning it'll be 
on the other side of the shelter. So it's not bad. What do you think, Rick? I think it's gonna look good. What do you think about the shelter building crap? It's a lot harder than the emergency shelter building. Yeah, that's, that's true. Sure. Or one night. Yeah, or a one nighter. When you're trying to build a a, sem a semi permanent shelter, picking the location. And yeah, for the guys that come out here and do this, and you know, build up something that's really elaborate and fancy and really nice. That's it's a lot of work they're putting in for people's entertainment. That's for sure. Yeah, hats off to them. Yeah, absolutely. I know we got some hairy vine over here. Just have to watch that. But other than that, I think it's a good spot. It's on this tree here too. Yeah, we got some over here. It's dead though. But got, so, our holes, got our holes dug. So let's put in our center post and start seeing if we can get some kind of a idea of the structure. So stick around and put your drink down and get up and help us. There's stuff <laughs> to be done. <laughs> Tom, look at you. This is how we do it. This is why our great grandparents never needed Planet Fitness. Nope. Because they were never Planet Fatness. <laughs> So for the skills part, what we did was timber framed in some notches. You saw that. This one looks better. And obviously the next pole will have the same notches, but that's going to be another day to go in there. So if you've never tried the timber framing notches with the saw and the axe, that's a good little exercise for you to practice. You may never use it. But then again, you may do like us and build a shelter and end up needing it. We have decided to take a breather. We're tired from working. So set up the Hesbitt stove, like a cup of coffee for me and Rick. And for food. Because it's too late to cook. Yeah. Yeah, it's too late to cook. So we're gonna, snacks. we're gonna have some cheddar cheese and summer sausage. This was a gift for Christmas, just a little snack. And Rick doesn't know it, but I've got another one of these mini, I don't know what you call these things. Panettone, is 
that how you say it? I do not know. Panettone. Hey, Panettone. I just butchered the name of it, I'm sure. I'm pretty sure you pat a Tony, he's gonna smack you right in the mouth. Pat Tony on the rear end. You're not pat the Tony. Here, cut open to these. Feed yourself some snackage. Got the coglins. Fuel tabs. Smell like fish. Fish food. Do they really? Oh god, they stink terrible. That's why I use this container. And this was a one tiger's container, I think. I think. Got the Jeff Shelton Stanley mess kit or cup kit. There it is. Yeah. All right, Rick. So you get to choose on the coffee. I've got three in ones mocha. Rosebud and traditional. Wow. Mm. These are Korean coffees. So they say. According, according to Amazon, these are Korean coffees. Somebody that's that's fluent in Korean is like, those aren't Korean coffees. <laughs> yeah. like, they have no idea what they're drinking. <laughs> oh, you pick, man. I'll take whatever. Mocha is really good. I'll so try mocha then. You're Eat. getting mocha. See so I find it. Oh, there's mocha. Oh, wait. I've got the cups over here. Throw that back. Hey, that's all right. I got the sausage and the cheese over here. Set it out there so everybody can see it in its natural, beautiful light. All right, so here's our summer sausage. Actually, it smells pretty good. Mm. It was very good. Thank you for sharing. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah. That's not bad at all. Little block cheese. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's not um, not real hard and tasteless though. It's got a, like a. I think it had a good flavor to it. More like an almost like an American type cheese. This is gonna be a good camp. I agree. gonna open up the uh, mini panettone. I don't know if that's what it's called or not. These things are only a buck. Mm -hmm. I'm sure they're horrible for you, but I do love my cakes. I am a hobbit, aren't I? Yep, you are. Oh, my handkerchiefs and my cakes and my doilies. No, I don't have any doilies, but oh, I just lost a raisin. Strike that from the record. Oh, yeah, look at that. Found my hoodie. <laughs> he was there one minute, and gone the next. One minute, and gone the next. Oh, shit. oh, it's gonna make it nice. Nice little place to sit and hang out. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Hope you like your coffee delicious. I do. <laughs> I do like my coffee delicious. I do. It's the only way I like my coffee. Breaking bread. I'll bring it to you. No, I'm coming over. I'm coming. I guess I'll bring it to you. 
Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Coffee and bread. Feast for, feast for a hobbit. Appreciate that. Feast for a hobbit. Mm. This coffee smells amazing. Like I'm not even joking. It smells so good right now. Mm. Could be a little hotter, but it's okay. It's all right. It's good. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was clear shot. Well, that was good food and drink. Back to it. All right, guys, for the gear, let's review the UCO Switch Spork utensil set. I'm going to put it back together because I just got done using it. But you need to see this thing. It's pretty neat. All right, so there it is. And it comes with a little rubber band around it. You can use this for whatever. Rick actually put it on his pack and use it like a ranger band. It's got a little toggle on it. <clears throat> Obviously, it's a spoon and a knife, serrated knife. It's really sharp too for plastic cutlery. Yeah, I'm surprised. Really good. And your fork, spork, whatever. But when you put it together, if you do it this way, flip it around, it locks in and makes an extra long handled spoon or fork. For those people who prefer to dig deep down into a ready cooked meal bag instead of just take your knife and cut the bag shorter. See, I like digging in because. You do? You? Yeah. I turn my bag to the side and slice <laughs> it down the side. I like uh, a side cut. Which is, uh, uh, River Ben Longbows commented on this. Mm -hmm. He said, I didn't know you could make that. You know, turn it into a longer yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. You know why? Because he probably cuts his bag down the side. Because <laughs> he's a real man. <laughs> he's a real man. He cuts his bag down the side. <laughs> yeah, he is a real man. Short spoon, short bag. <laughs> yeah. He's awesome, man. His stuff is just his content's amazing. So anyway, there you go. There's the there's the UCO switch spork utensil set, and I do have this on UglyTint.com right now. A little plug. Can you see it? I hate it when it does that. There we go. It's upside down. Yes. Cool. All right, guys. Thanks for watching another episode of Ugly Tent. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Yep. And we'll see you next time.